That's what my favorite color is. Uh, is it green? Yippee! I in procedure. No, 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 mommy, no, 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 no. I had a fecal transplant. Oh, God damn it. Hello, Jess the Fox here with the Dynomax tutorial. The first thing I do is unscrew the black eye mask because it's uncomfortable to me, but that's completely optional. Next, you're either going to want to spray paint the Dino mask or paint with several layers of white paint over it. Um, I use spray paint because I think it's easier. And you're just going to spray all over the Dino mask. And make sure you spray paint in a garage with some cardboard under you so you don't accidentally spray paint something you don't want to be spray painted. Put several layers of spray paint or white paint and you got the base coat of your dino mask. This is completely optional but I cut off the um, elastic around the dino mask and the bottom piece because I'm making one that's comfortable to my head. Trace your chin rest on 5 millimeter EVA foam and add 2 inches to it so it will fit inside the dino mask. Scratch out the dino mask where the EVA foam is going to go so the glue can stick better. I cut off the pieces where the screw was so I could put my fit my foam in it for my forehead. Again scratch with scissors where the glue is going to go for the elastic and EVA foam so the glue can stick better to the plastic. For um, this part is optional if you cut the original elastic and plastic piece off, but just measure your head and make sure the new elastic is comfortable and stays on your head. Do a fit check like this. Make sure the jaw is okay moving. Then you're all set to start lightly tracing your design of your Dyna mask. And then you're going to want to paint with acrylic paint. Um, I just buy cheap ones from the store. They work for me. I have to use several layers, like four or five. Paint your teeth and whatever else you want. So my cousin gave me this crap. For the inconvenience of me not giving up and I'm swerving in the streets, got you nervous that I'm comfortable to my head.
trace your chin rest on. It is the sleepy time. It is the time for the sleep. You take head, you put on pillow, and then sleep. If you cannot sleep, may I suggest the warm milk? You can sleep like baby. <laughs> Не трогать. Y'all could say I got W Riz. We gotta stay. It costs that much cause it takes me fucking hours. fucking hours It costs that much cause I don't have superpowers, superpowers. You need to pay for my skills cause exposure doesn't pay the bills It costs that much cause it takes me fucking hours Fire spreading all around the room so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. My room looks really normal until you see the virginity corner. Whoa. This is too good. Where were oh you? my god. Oh, so oh, this is so cool. Holy shit. This is so good. Dude. Oh. Oh. Take 
<laughs> take me. Take me. Take me. All right, that's good enough for today, Ted. We've got everything we need. A princess, too. What kind of a princess are you? Uh, Do you have magic hair? No. Magic hands? No. Do animals talk to you? No. Were you poisoned? No. Cursed? No. Kidnapped, Kidnapped or enslaved? enslaved? No. Are you guys okay? Should I call the police? <laughs> One of the most frequent comments I get on Buttercup's videos is concern that I am ruining my costume by baking in it. So let's break down how I care for her after each video. I start with cleaning the head. I spray the inside and neck area with a 70% alcohol spray to disinfect it. To get into the hard to reach places, I spray a wipe or cloth and wipe everything down. On the front, I gently wipe the face down and wipe inside the mouth as well. Then I place the head on a fan to dry it faster. For the arm sleeves, I carefully turn them inside out. Now if I had gotten anything messy on them, they would go in the wash. But in this case, they were pretty clean, so I just sprayed them down well and hanged them to air dry. Now the paws, everyone's biggest concern. They fared pretty well this time, but as you can see, there are still a few spots where they got messy. I will place these in a laundry bag, then pop them in my washing machine using a bit of regular laundry detergent. Always use cold water when washing faux fur. That's super important. Then I set the cycle to delicate and turn it on. Once those are done, I will brush them out well and place them on a fan to dry. Never ever place any fursuit parts in the dryer. The heat could ruin them. And that's it, nice and clean now. I hope this helps. Remember to always check with your fursuit maker before washing any parts of your costume. Until next time. I don't give a fuck who talk behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear.